What's up, guys? Uh, I just got back to Alabama, just hanging out. Uh, I decided to bring back my Glock 27. Kind of changed things up a little bit. Uh, really, really like my Glock 27. And it's been kind of sleeping. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's been put up for the last several months. And uh, needs to be gotten out. And I actually need to clean it. And, uh, you know, put some rounds through it. I think it's only got about 100 rounds total. Um, so I decided to bring it down, uh, give it a good cleaning, and uh, take it out to the range. And uh, if I can get some time, take, take it to the range. I don't have a good, I've got an outdoor range here um, that I can go to, but um, I've got to be here on the weekend. So um, I've got a lot of things going on. I don't know if I'll be able to get to it, you know, in the next week and a half or so, but I definitely will be putting some rounds through this. I'm going to try and take my camera so I can get some footage as well of me shooting. Alright, so my Glock 27, I'm not going to do, you know, some technical review of it. I'm just showing you mine, what I like, what I dislike, what I found uh, in my experience with this particular firearm. First things first, it, this one is uh, plain, just stock. Uh, I've made no changes. Uh, it does have a... Uh, a, you know all the standard you know five and a half trigger five and a half pound trigger pull uh, it has a nine round capacity magazine so you can do nine plus one uh, and uh, I added the uh, extension mag extension I can shoot it just as good with the regular uh, ex uh, magazine I just prefer it's just more comfortable to me uh, with the added extra extension here okay uh, just allows me to wrap my uh, pinky you know which I which I like. Uh, I did also have a uh, plug, and as you can see, it is no longer there. Uh, and uh, you know, as you can see in my Glock 23, which I have here, all right, I've got the plug there, and you'll notice on this particular firearm uh, with these mag plugs on the 23 and the 22, and I'm just speaking for the 40 calibers here. It is the same with the 19 and the 17, which are the 9 mil versions. They have a little uh, locking hole here. Well, the, the Glock 27 doesn't have that. So what would happen is, as I was shooting, the plug would fall out. All right. And just for fun, uh, I'll show you that these are, of course, empty weapons. Point in the safe direction. All right, pull the trigger. So, yeah, the Glock 23 actually has uh, the ability to lock the plug. And, you know, mine would rattle out as I'd shoot it, okay? So I just left it out, said to heck with it. Uh, the other thing is I got a uh, guide rod, a stainless steel guide rod and spring uh, for this particular firearm, and I didn't like it, all right? It had a nice weight, uh, but um, what happened was, and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, let me just break this down here. All right, what would happen is the the stainless steel guide rod spring would stick out, you know, right here too far. Uh, and it just looked stupid. Uh, it didn't look perf it didn't look like it fit for this gun, even though you know it was for the Glock, you know, twenty. 27. All right. So there's the uh, the guide rod and spring. What the guide rod and spring looks like for the Glock 27. All right. And this gun is dirty. I need to clean this gun. Um, and there's the barrel. So there, there's a field strip. You know, just you know, all Glock field strip exactly the same. I mean, there's these these are all the Gen Gen threes. Uh, excuse me. Let me get that back in. All right. So there we go. All right, and actually, there's the frame. Okay, so right. so there it is in the hand. Um, as you can see, without the um, extension, you can see where the standard mag would would fill in there. I can't wrap my pinky, and that's okay. Um, you know, you can still shoot this gun very effectively without it. I just prefer 
to have the the additional real estate there. Uh, it's just more comfortable uh, for me with that with that extension. So that's that's uh, the Glock 27. I really really like this uh, this gun as well. All right, this is a fantastic, and I'm not pointing the gun at myself. All right, this is a fantastic concealed carry piece. All right, all kinds of modifications. Uh, like I said, I didn't get the or I, I, you know, because of the, it just didn't look like it fit well. Um, and so I, I took the stainless steel out and just went back to the stock. Uh, I would, and here's the sight picture, standard Glock uh, sights. Uh, night sights may be um, good to put on. You know, I think I may do that eventually. But yeah, I haven't had the, uh, the old Glock 27 out in a while. And uh, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. I carry, uh, you can see the difference here uh, between the Glock 27 and the Glock 23, roughly. Alright, this is the big brother. This is a 13 plus 1 capacity. Alright. There you go. And you can see, let me do them this way. You can see the uh, the difference in handles here. Essentially, there we go. So yeah, um, I really like the Glock 23, of course, as well, and wanted to have all three. And of course, I have the Glock 22 as well. So uh, the only thing I don't have is the. Uh, the competition 40 caliber, which has the longer barrel, uh, but the three 40 caliber Glocks are the the 27, which is this one. And then the big brother to that is the 23. Okay, which is just a little bit longer of a barrel. All right, and then the big brother to the 23 is the Glock 22, which I left back in Ringo. All right, and that is the uh, full framed 40 caliber. All right, the nine mil. It's the Glock 26, which is the same frame as this one. The 9mm version of the Glock 23 is the Glock 19. And the 9mm version of the Glock 22 with a full frame is the Glock 27. Or, excuse me, Glock 17. All right, so the 26, 19, and 17 are the 9mm uh, family of Glocks. And the 27, 23, and 22 are the 40 cal family. And uh, yeah, really nice. Uh, now, what's really cool about this is I can take the uh, 13 round magazine and I can rock my 13 round magazine in this Glock 27. Okay, so I get a little bit more capacity. Um, all right, now I can also take my 15 round from my Glock 22s that I have, and I can rock the Glock 27 with that one as well. All right, so these magazines are interchangeable, and uh, you know I can get some more capacity. Of course, you know they look kind of crazy with them sticking out uh, of the handle there, but uh, that's all right. I mean it's still functional. I got 15 round capacity now in this uh, Glock 27. All right, and they work really well. Right, and here's the nine round. So anyway, just uh, want to do a quick video on the Glock 27. Again, my experiences. The uh, I would my my opinion is I'm going to leave this. I think it's better stock, maybe with some night sights. I know that some people are putting the uh, Crimson Trace laser grips on here. I'm not a big fan of the grip, the laser on the grip, um, but you know apparently they work really well. 
uh, to me, Night Sights uh, is probably about the only thing I'm going to do, unless I do find a stainless steel guide rod and spring uh, that works well. All right, and that's kind of all I really wanted to talk about, just uh, kind of showing off the, uh, the Glock 27. Um, all right, guys, enjoy your Monday evening. I'm back in Alabama. Uh, and uh, I still haven't gotten a, a new camera yet, as you can tell. I'm using this, still using my camera, um, but uh, hopefully I can find one here. And uh, and also I've got a tripod already, but uh, that way I can start uh, doing some better quality videos. So. All right, guys, Glock 27. That's what I'm talking about. Enjoy your Monday evening. Be safe.